Welcome back to Get Even. We just snuck past a bunch of people and found these notes talking about Jared Porter. I believe they're in the room just right over here, and they are apparently an informant. Which is not a good thing to these mercenaries. Hey! Hear me out! Please! Just... Just hear me out! What do you want? You hit for Jasper, yeah? They've got him back there. And why are you here? They locked me up because I was helping him out, but I only did it out of fear, I swear. I've seen him kill people just for disagreeing with him. Please, please, if you leave me here, they'll kill me. I definitely want to let them out. Let's see if we can do that. Don't see anybody on the map nearby. Yeah, I don't know how to get back there. Maybe it'll loop around back to it? There's no button or anything, right? Nope. Okay, hopefully we'll come back there. Or does that look like a face? Ew. Jasper's been working under the radar for almost a decade. Was in the army in the 90s, where he first made contact with people who now provide him work as a mercenary. Got discharged. Likes his recreational narcotics. Pot caught in ecstasy. Caught? What's caught? Makes some money selling it all inside. Tends to deal in small amounts to keep a low profile. Unpredictable and erratic, but the best merc I know. What the hell? Back here to the warehouse? From Rose Atkins, Jasper, he knows and he's coming for you. Meet me back at the mansion. I'm on my way, Rose. Rose Still Atkins. No memory of Jasper. Found his phone though. Getting pulled out. He brought me out, Red. There's no pain. I I can think this time. Red, did you see that? We've got a name and a place. Rose and a mansion. Red. Red? Are you there? Red! Red, hey, were you watching? Who's Rose? And where is this mansion? Red! We still haven't finished our investigation into this... Jasper. ...business, Mr. Black. What do you mean, haven't finished? We've got a name, a place. Jasper's dead. We need to... I will say what we need to do, Black. You are here at my convenience, and you wear... My, my technology. Do not fucking trust me! Nobody crosses me. Okay. Okay, fine. Then what do I do? Red, I said what do I do? Oh, never mind. I'll just proceed, shall I? 
strange. I'm sort of off the leash, it seems like. I mean, they want me to be on the leash, obviously, but they're not really telling me what to do specifically. Didn't respond for a while, then sort of responded, and then didn't respond again. Maybe something's going on on the outside. Or they're scrambling to do something with the information they just learned, I don't know. But I don't think I'm their highest priority at the moment. Okay, so we, yeah, we just came from here, we saw all these things. Okay. Oh, enemy on the map. Oh, new memoir entry. It was too late, but I found out that he was working with Rose Atkins. Jasper Prado was here. I was trying to get to him. Art therapy sessions. Art therapy sessions every Monday and Friday at 4 p.m. in Building C. All patients are welcome. First, Dr. Benway was very reluctant towards my idea of bringing art psychotherapy to Lithurst, but now he finally seems to be satisfied with the results. I'm genuinely surprised with the progress on uh, patient 219 has made in the past two weeks. He always feels guilty about the things he did, but wouldn't go into details. And now he's writing about it. He's trying to communicate his feelings for the very first time since he got here. I'm making progress. Dr. Amanda Barnes. What if I'm patient 219? The more I think about the Puppet Master, the more gaps I see in my past, and the holes in my memories only get bigger. All the moments I can't remember clearly, all the things I've done not having full control over my own actions. The Puppet Master may look like one of us, but that's just a disguise. There's a shadow on him, a mark under his skin. I see him in my dreams. I've tried to kill him many times, but he just keeps coming back, telling me that no one can deceive the Prince of Lies. Were you there before? Why did you do that? What? Well, why did you paint your prosthetic leg black? It's depressing. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, and I was hoping you're cured. I am cured. Your leg was sick, remember? That's why I had to cut it off. I know you loved it, but sometimes we have to let go of the things we love the most. Hmm? How's the other leg? She's fine. A bit sad, maybe. Her sister was amputated. They were twins. Mm, I see. So, maybe they should be together. Yeah, all right, I'll think about it. Think about cutting off the other leg to keep them together? Is that what you're saying? Most of the inmates I've met talk a great deal about the war. We all have flashbacks of the things we've seen, the things we've done. When I first woke up in my cell, I thought that this must be some kind of military experiment, making soldiers face their traumas. So is the Puppet Master our Commander-in-Chief? Or are we all captives of our greatest enemy? Abandoned us. The puppet 
see anymore. Can't see. Can't see. New text from Rufus. He's a broken man because of you. This job is his way out, our way out. We were gonna break free and live our lives, but you destroyed it all. What did we do to deserve this? Oh, look at the shirt they're wearing. ADS. Hmm. Dr. James Evans. Dear Mr. Boyce, as you already know, you've been diagnosed with clinical depression. That tragic event at ADS clearly took a toll on you. I think I know how we can get you the help you need. My good friend, Dr. Amanda Barnes, organizes art therapy sessions for patients coping with emotional and psychological trauma, so I strongly suggest contacting her as soon as possible. There's no way you can get past them stealthily. I actually don't have that much ammo. 21 rounds. Gotta make sure I don't waste too much. Eh. How much do we have now? 26. Not bad. Thank you for the candle to light my way. Very generous. Okay, they're giving me a lot of ammo. That's a little bit worrying. Just say Big John, and then his best friend, Joe Bonham. What someone drew from the art therapy? Why do you have a mask on? Mr. Black. I'm surprised you didn't try to jump the wall and escape. <laughs> I want to get to the bottom of this as much as you do. If that were true, that would surprise me. Little rat. Patient 219 once again. DNA found. One matching profile. Patient 219. All of the believers, they're not at all like me. 
like the mad kettle and hat guy. They fuck you up, you see. They'll keep... Oh, it's, it's rhyming, I just realized. They'll keep on their believing all day and all week long. They pray and they believe and sing their stupid fucking songs. So I would gladly crush their legs in and poke out all their eyes, and see them crawling till the end and watch as each one dies. And as for that prick believer in his stupid fucking hat, a drop of poison in his cup, what would we all think of that? I'm getting two bars for evidence here. Treats up to two right here, then goes down to nothing. Hmm. Maybe it's upstairs or something. Oh, three. water now. No? Okay. Hmm. Seems pretty damn good looking. I love the environments especially. That's rather high tech. The new prototype is ten times better than the previous one, but there's still lots of work to be done before it functions efficiently. The participant of my experiment, G, was astonished with the results at first, but after spending 15 minutes in the virtual memory, he started showing symptoms of cyber sickness. He was disoriented and horrified, and 20 minutes into the experiment, he started uncontrollably vomiting. So I had to abort the whole thing. At least he survived. I'm exhausted, but no time for rest. I'm too close to stop working now. Server connection scheme. Hmm. This is probably really important. So... Am I to assume that this is reality? This is not entering, like this asylum is not inside of a memory or something, this is actually real? And all these servers and everything are, you know, supplying that Pandora unit and supporting its ability to process and function and construct these memory spaces? I feel like that's the implication of what I'm seeing, but I'm, I wouldn't totally believe that this is real. Uh, so yeah, computer... Oh, that's curious. I don't see a computer one. I see computer number two, three, and another computer number two. Why is that? That seems strange, but yeah, computer number two, rendering and physics, and then a bunch of server groups. His brain is damaged, but there's still a good chance of pulling this off. The temporal lobe is entirely unimpaired. He should survive the review phase at least, so I'm hopeful of finding out exactly how much he knew about what happened to Grace. Yeah, so it definitely was Grace in the hostage chair. Or at least it looked like it was Grace in the hostage chair. 
Although now we've seen, um... Crap, I forgot his name, but the, uh, the Irish guy. We've seen him in the chair, too, so I'm not exactly sure which one was in the chair. Perhaps both at some point in time. See, things, I'm pretty sure they're talking about me. I feel like I'm probably the person that's, like, dying. But if so, then this can't possibly be real. If I'm basically dead, then I, I couldn't be walking around here. Oh, I've got to look at my heat vision, don't I? Well, let's do that in a second. Yeah, like, look at how much detail they put into all these different notes. It's so cool. They put so much work into them. Certified copy of an entry of birth. They were born the 15th of February, 1993. So, pretty young. Oh, Grace. That's Grace. Name and surname of father, Robert Ramsey. Robert Ramsey? Who was Ramsey again? Was that the person who invented the VR goggles? Although it was suggested that they quite possibly stole a lot of their stuff. Lenore Ramsey. Okay. Hmm. I need to fix this. I will not accept what happened to my daughter. Nor will I live with a wife who holds me responsible. I will find whoever did this. So Lenore will see the truth. So she will forgive me. And so things can go back to the way they were before all this. Oh, looks like there's evidence nearby. DNA found. One matching profile. Lenore Ramsey. New text. Why the hell would Lenore Ramsey be in this thing? Looks like a fucking torture device. Unknown number. This world is such an abode that if those present... Wait. The... What? This world is such an abode that if those present here... And then period. Have their wits entire, they will never weep for the absent ones. Grammatically, that was very confusing. Okay, let's see. Um. It's not changing. Nothing's changing color. Maybe I should go back to the other pipe. Oh. Oh, there's a bunch of pipes. Okay. Hmm. I can't open that, though. But I could see where that goes. goes in here. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Ah, there we go. Nobody knows. Give them a twist, and the water explodes. One down, but how many more? Quick, 
Uh, I think that's probably the last step. Ah, here we go. Okay. From Scott Hopkins to Robert Ramsey. Talking about the headset. Hello Rob, is everything okay? You're not picking up the phone and we're all worried sick. Your team is amazing and I know they're working night and day, but we clearly need your guidance in order to have this device ready to hit the market and become the success it deserves to be. We need to minimize all the symptoms of VR sickness testers are getting and fix the major bugs prior to release. Please communicate with us. We can't do this without you. Ooh, there's a bunch of stuff here. Explosion near Barnt Green. On the scene when it happened, why was he there? Cole Black. Okay, so I was there. That's the hostage situation, right? Jasper Prado. Murdered just hours before the explosion. Was he involved somehow? Jared Porter. Questioned by police in Prado's case. What does he know? Roger Howard. Surely wouldn't stoop so low. We'll need hard, hard evidence before moving against him. Cole Black was investigating Grace Ramsey's kidnapping. Claims he tried to solve this thing on his own but failed, or perhaps he wanted to fail. History of addiction to prescription opiates would often lose grip on reality. Claims he has no memory of investigating Jasper Prado and Rose Atkins. Can't recall that he knew the people directly involved in the kidnapping. To what extent should he be trusted? You gotta get me out of here, mate. They started talking behind my back. I can hear them. I think they know. Fuck, if that's true, I'm done. Get me a transfer to a different prison or, or bail me out or... I don't know, you're the fucking counselor, aren't you? If I don't get out, I'm dead. changed her four times in the last three hours. She will not stop. Please, can you take her? I need to lie down for a moment. Well, sure, but I thought we agreed to do this together. I just need to lie down. Thirteen children and a teacher died in an accident. They died in a horrible accident on the M40 motorway near Warwick. It was just after midnight on the 18th of November when a minibus crashed into a maintenance vehicle. Eleanor Gray, 35, 
was the teacher who was driving the bus transporting 15 children home to Worcestershire <laughs> from a school trip to London. She fell asleep at the wheel before the minibus struck a 12.5 ton Bedford Motorway maintenance lorry and later exploded. So that's back in 1993. Centerfield University, Master of Science, Robert Ramsey. Uh, 7th of November, 1990. She's hungry. Can you bring me her bottle, love? I think it's in the kitchen. I've got a PhD in neuroscience. I think I can manage it. Says they slept like a baby, clearly never had one. Scientific Englishman. And then a magnifying glass on the human brain, and it says fear. That's deep. Hi, Mum. Lenore and I were wondering if you wanted. What? It's me, your son. Uh, calm down, Mum. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yes, that's right. Are you okay? <sighs> right. Um, no, no. No, it's fine. It's fine. So, Lenore and I were wondering. Oh, look, she's trying to talk to you. Adult brains, I understand. But this, this is just incessant, incoherent garbling. What on earth is she doing? It says I have to interact, but I can't interact with it. Interesting. That sound that it made as it clicked into place and pointed towards here. We've heard that sound quite a few times. It just seems to come up seemingly randomly. Especially heard it a bunch of times in the hostage situation at the very beginning. But I think I've heard it throughout too. I think we can flip a switch and make it turn to a different spot. So the doctor said that mum can't distinguish between the past and the present. It's all jumbled together somehow. How can a person forget so much? Why can't they help her remember? Give for one second alone with my thoughts. One goddamn second. Seems like Ramsey was a really shitty father. And husband. she wanted to know why I wasn't in school. The next, she was crying and complaining about her son, who never comes to visit. 
you were there every day. Whether she remembered or not, you were there for her. How can a person just forget? I should have helped her remember somehow. I should have found a way. You did everything you could. She loved you very much. Remember that at least. Mom, why is Daddy so sad? He's worried about your gran, my love. He's just worried, that's all. Rose Atkins. I really don't see why you hired this one. She doesn't ever seem to know where you are. She won't put you on the phone. She's a good assistant, Lenore. Huge potential. Give her time. I'm sure you'll warm to her. Just keep an eye on her, will you? I don't trust her. So Rose was mixed up in all this with the kidnapping of Grace and... and... I keep forgetting the Irish guy's name. But yeah, she was mixed up in all this. She was an assistant to Ramsay. Or like a caretaker for the family, maybe? I don't know. Grace said you promised to help with her science homework. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm just... C can you help her tonight? Do you mind? Fine. I've got this presentation first thing in the morning. I really feel like I'm on the verge of something here. This would mean so much for us, for the family. You understand, don't you? <sighs> my love maybe we should ask rose atkins when he'll be home maybe she'll even set up an appointment for us you don't like her i don't trust her you don't trust her or you don't trust dad and because of that you have Lenore but you also have me and I'm not going anywhere it won't be long before Grace is old enough to leave home until then there's you and me and the work for now that's all that matters I love you Surprise, he was almost certainly a cheating asshole. The use. Who those memories belong to is entirely irrelevant. They do not contain the answers Just we're looking for. Trust me. Now is not the time to start thinking, Black. Nobody cares about whatever theories you may have dreamed up in that little brain of yours. Now is the time to do as I say. Now is the time to proceed. Fuck you. Okay, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.